Hi, mommy. You're here. How are you? I am fine. Mom, you said you wanted to see me. Yes. Tonya Finn called me and told me that you have been avoiding him. Tonya, why? Mommy, I told you I don't want to have anything to do with him. And I already told him off. I don't know why he kept on knocking. <laughs> Do you realize he is ex natal son? Mom, I don't understand. What has that got to do with me? Tonya, now listen. Finn called me and made his intention known to me. I want to get married to you. This is an opportunity every other girl will like to grab with two hands. Oh? Are you not thinking of getting married and give me grandchildren? Well, mother, I am not every other girl. I know what I want and Finn is definitely not one. I already have someone I'm in love with. And who is this person that I haven't met yet? Mom, don't worry. You will meet him soon. That's Dennis good. is a wonderful guy that wow. you would love to have as a son in law. Tell me more. Is he a governor's son? No, mommy. <laughs> I guess. He is a senator's son, or probably Mr. President's son. Mom, please stop it. Does it really matter whose son he is? <laughs> Tonya, that means he doesn't have a son in Mom! And now listen, Tonya. You are getting married to Finn, and that is final. I have said it, and this discussion is over. Mommy, I can't get married to Finn. I can't. I don't even have any single feeling for him. No, it won't happen. I can't get married to that guy. Huh. If you call that, you should be here. Oh, I guess you're here to see my mom. I will just call her for you immediately. Tony, hold on. I'm here to see you and not your mom. You're here to see me. Why, if I may ask? What for? Hello. It's me, Finn. The senator's son. Of course. I can see you clearly. Or are you insinuating that I am blind? It's you, Finn, the senator's son. And so? What insolence. You don't even have a single respect for me. Who do you think you are anyway? <laughs> hey. I am a nobody. And yet, you won't stop knocking at my door. Read my lips. I will never, never be yours. Stop it, Tony. What's wrong with you? Have you gone mad, Tony? Finn! Finn, come! Tony. Tony, tell me what is your problem. Tony, how could you be talking to a man that would eventually become your husband the way we did? No, I will never marry Finn. Never. And now listen. Tony, you will not disobey me. You will never disobey me. Listen, Finn is the best man that is good for you. He is the man that will give you rest of mind. Mom, please. If you want me to be happy for the rest of my life, Please, let me marry the man I love. Please. Sonia, I cannot give my daughter to a nobody. I cannot. Mom. You are my only child. Mom, what do I need a rich husband for? Dad made more than enough to last 10 people for a lifetime. Can't you see, Finn is not the man for me. I don't feel anything for him. Sonia, my daughter, feelings will come. 
Stop crying. It's a gradual process. Love didn't happen just the first time I met your daddy. We built it over the years and it became the sweetest. Please, mommy, you liked dad enough that you accepted to marry him. Your mom didn't force you. Love happened between two people when their hearts are willing to accept it in them. But mom, in this case, I don't like Faye. I don't. Mommy, please. So now listen and listen good. You better start liking him. And you're going to get married to him. Please, please. Hey, you're done with this discussion. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> No, I cannot marry Finn. I cannot. I cannot marry Finn. I cannot. Margaret. My sinner, my sinner. May I know what is delaying the marriage between my son and your daughter, Tonya? <laughs> There is no delay, my senator. <laughs> my daughter have accepted to get married to your son. Uh, yes. But what he tells me sounds different from what you are saying. It cannot. She feels happy whenever we discuss her about getting married to your son. Margaret. My senator. I consented to this idea of my son getting married to your daughter because of the clean relationship I had with, with your husband before his death. And to the fact that my son is truly in love with your daughter. I hope you know that the only way you can become a commissioner is by allowing my son get married <laughs> to your daughter. There is no problem, Senator. I promise you, your son will definitely marry my daughter. No problem. <laughs> oh. um, you know, you are not doing me and my son any favor. Okay? No problem, Senator. When you are ready to pay her bride price, you're welcome. Tonya, my daughter, you might not know why I'm insisting you marry Finn. But when the time comes, you will know. I will not allow one non-entity deceive you into believing that he loves you. Then when he finally marries you and gets his sense on all your inheritance, he will turn from being a saint to a deadly serpent. They are all gold diggers who want to reap where they did not sow. It will never happen. Tonya, you must not disobey me. It will never happen. Never! At the point, I started thinking maybe you wouldn't make it. Why would you think that? And why haven't you ordered for food? Oh. Huh? 
What are you doing here for me? You have the nerves and the infantry to fornicate around with my wife to be. You have lost your stupid mind, Phil. What? Yes. If you must know, Dennis here is the man I am in love with. The only man who has all it takes to win my heart and not a loser like you. So please, if you don't mind, we came here to have our lunch. Now, leave. How dare hey, you? Hey. You know, I don't know who you are, but you much as try to lay your few hands on her, I swear to God, I will kill you, bury you here. Then I'll turn myself in. I can't believe I am here competing with a non-entity who is not even up to my gatekeeper at all. We shall see. It's a promise. <laughs> We shall see. Please, please. I am so sorry. Please. I'm so sorry about that. Hey. It's, it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. 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 It's Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. Waiter! I'll miss you. Yeah, I wish we could spend more time together. I know, but you have to go. I don't want your mom to start missing you already. Sure, <laughs> you're right. So, we're seeing you around, yeah? Yeah. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Bye. Without a kiss? What? Kiss me. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> See you again. All right, take care. <laughs> Bye. Someone is looking extremely happy today. So how did you know that? Okay. I had a date with Tonya today. Okay. <laughs> okay. And um, she kissed me. <laughs> like, she kissed me for the first time. I, I wasn't expecting it. I never knew she loved me this much. You know, like, God. You're so excited. What? <laughs> what? Mm. <laughs> I'm so happy that you have finally found love. I mean, you have finally decided to put the past behind you and move on. See, if Tonya can make you this happy, then you have my 101% support. 101%? Yes. So, where is the other one person coming from? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, are you expecting someone? No. Okay, hold on. Tonya. Yeah. Can I come in? Of course, come on. Come on in. I. I yeah. Hi. How are you, Miriam? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, um, bro, I'm going to see a friend of mine, and that means I'll be back. Okay. I'll come back late. Okay. And Tonya, yeah, 
Will you still be around when I get back? Mm, maybe. Okay. I'm going. Uh, okay. Alright. Bye. 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 Your daughter is cheating on me with some low life idiots. And when I confronted them about it in the restaurant, you didn't have to see the kind of embarrassment those two gave me. Finn, calm down. It's alright, calm down. I will sort it out when she gets back. I have never faced such an insult in my life before. All because of who? Some girl? No! Don't insult my girl before me. How dare you? Take that ways back. I'm sorry. I'm Better sorry. be. Now listen. When she comes back, she will come and apologize to you. That is my promise. It's all right. in a public place with an imbecile. No, an imbecile? And don't try to deny it because Finn have already told me everything. Was that why you slapped me, Mom? You hit me because of what Finn told you? Dennis is not disabled in any way. Now listen. Let this be the first and the last time you see that boy. And if you try to disobey me, you will see the other side of me. Nonsense. Him? Dad, I've already found out where that boy is living. Okay. But what exactly is in this girl that you will not let go? Dad. Uh, you already know that I love this girl. She's the woman I want to be with. Even if I will lose that girl, it's not to that low life. Mm. Okay. Son, Dad, take it. Bless Dad.
Young man, do you know who I am? I've never met you before, sir. I am Senator James Ozodima of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I have plans to inflict serious pains on you for having the guts to lay your filthy hands on my only son. Only son for that matter. But seeing you right now. I'm sorry, sir, but I never laid my hands on your son. Will you shut up your mouth, you pig? Anyway, what do I have to waste my energy on a low life like you? But I can have another option by having your account number and I can wire just 10 million naira into that account and that can change your life immediately. Take it and go away from Tonia because she belonged to my son. I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir. But what Tony and myself share is worth more than any amount you can offer me. That allow me to deal with this fool. No, son. No, 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 no. Leave him. It's okay. And what do you call that name again? I'm Dennis, sir. <laughs> Dennis. Dennis. Then is when a father calls a name three times, you know what it means? Let me warn you for the last time. If I ever see you a little close to that girl called Tonia, I will make life miserable to you much more than you can ever imagine. Take me out of here. Are you sure you are okay? I'm fine. But this official expression is not good. They want me to stay away from Tony. The senator threatened to deal with me if I refuse to adhere to his warning. After I detected a huge offer he made me. What are you going to do now? Brother, see, I'm not ready to lose you at all. So you just have to be careful, please. You know these people, they are very influential in the society yeah. and... Would you rather I turn my back on the one woman that means the world to me? Or because some senator from nowhere threatened to deal with me if I, if, I, if I don't? I will never do that, okay? Either way, it means that for me. I can't, can't live without Tony, you know that. So I, I'd rather take my chances. And this girl, Tonya, she's so nice. She, she's just the best girl for you. But you just have to be careful, please. See, don't worry. I am ready to stand by you in whatever decision you make on this, okay? But please be careful. Um, why not come inside? Lunch is ready. Alright. Alright. Sorry.
My baby girl, you have been avoiding your mom. Huh? Oh, yeah, stop crying. Forgive your mommy, okay? I'm sorry. Mom. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. You slapped me because of him. Oh, you yeah, forgive mommy, okay? Forgive me, my baby. Is that okay? I'm sorry. Hmm? Mom, have you ever thought of the maltreatment I will receive from Finn if I eventually marry him? Have you? If he dares try to maltreat my only and precious daughter, Tonya, I will kill him. Mom, Finn is above prayer. He can't get off his high horse. He flies off the handle at every little thing. Mom, oh. did I tell you that Finn wanted to beat me up at the restaurant? If not for Dennis, who protected me from him? What? Are you making this up? Mom, you know me too well. Oh. I can't make this up. You know me too well. Okay. <sighs> I see. You love this Dennis boy, don't you? Yes, mommy. Yes. Remember you mm. told me that money isn't everything. I love Dennis with my whole heart. Mom, Dennis is a nice person. You will like him. I see. No problem. Just invite him for lunch tomorrow. Mm? I would like to see him. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Serious. Oh, thank you. No. You mean Finn Father said that to you? He threatened to kill me if I ever come close to you again. No, he didn't. Tell me you're joking. You're joking, right? Tonya. Oh, you are there. Just that. Please come over. I need to show you something. Okay, Dad. Who's there? Dad, let me get the dog. Tonya! Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my daughter. Please have your seat. I have not come here to sit down. Please, sir. I beg you in the name of God. I do not love your son. And I don't want to have anything to do with him. Not in this life. Not even in the next life. Will you keep quiet, young lady? With all due respect, sir, I will not keep quiet. I mean, how could you? How could you threaten the man I love so much to stay away from me? Why? Do you realize you are talking to my father? Huh. What insolence. Children of these days have lost their senses. You dare talk to the senator this way? If anything, I mean, if anything should happen to my Dennis, I will tell the whole world that both of you are responsible. Tony! Now listen to me, boy. You have to do everything possible to do away with that girl. Okay? There are many girls out there. Short, tall, thin, and fat. Bring one home. And you will get my blessing. But if you insist on that girl, if you insist on that very girl, count me out. And make sure nothing happens to that boy, Dennis. Else, you will see the other side of me. Baby. Yeah. You know, I keep wondering. You seem so free, you know, <laughs> being with me here in this my small room and on my local bed. Yeah. You, you just feel free. Yes, dear. That is the level love has brought me to. And I'm so enjoying doing it. 
It makes me happy whenever I'm around you. And whenever we're together, I don't feel like going away. Hmm? I love you so much. Hmm? I love you too. <laughs> Guess what? Then? What? Guess now. <laughs> what? Just tell me. Just guess. You know I'm not good at guessing, so what is it? Okay. Mom has invited you to have lunch with us tomorrow. <laughs> no, you're joking, right? I'm serious. <laughs> My God, well, that's a good news, right? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> it seems she has decided to let me follow my heart. Wow. Oh my god, this is, this is the best news I've heard in a no while. Mm -hmm. You know, so finally, we're going to have to be together without having the fear of your mom kicking against our relationship. Of course. <laughs> I am so happy. I am more happy. Dennis, I love you. My happiness is with you. And my soul is tied to yours. Hmm. <laughs> You're welcome, my son. Thank you very much, ma'am. So, how is life with you? Um, there's actually nothing too special about myself, ma. My daughter told me you run a small scale business. Is that true? Yes, that's correct, ma. That's good. So, tell me more about yourself. That's not. That's really nothing special about me, ma. My dad died when I was still a teenager. And my mom single-handedly raised myself and my younger sisters. And I, I also have a degree in mechanical engineering. Degree? <laughs> yes, ma. You are a graduate. <laughs> yes, ma. Yes, ma. Wow. <laughs> and baby girl, did you tell me about that? Um, no. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm happy. You, so, do you really love my daughter? Uh, yes, ma. With wow. everything in me. She's the second brother, I think. Eh? I love her. And I cherish her a lot. Ow! <laughs> that is my baby girl. <laughs> it's good. You're welcome. That's nice. You're welcome. <laughs> You're highly welcome. Thank you very much. Have lunch with us. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay.
Excuse me. Yeah? You shouldn't have lied to her. Lied? Yes. Lied? How? How did I lie? About being a graduate. Oh. <laughs> that. You, you really think I lied? But you never told me. Uh, well, that's because she never asked. Hmm. <laughs> you. Yes, me. So, what else do I need to know about this man who has won my heart again? Well, hmm? that I love you? Of course, I know that already. Okay. You know I love you, but you don't know how much. Okay. So tell me, how much? How much? How much mm -hmm. do I love her? How much? Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. I love you uncountable. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I love you more. Mm -mm, I love you more. No, I love you. I more. love you more. No, I love you no. more. No. <laughs> okay. Let's just say I love your eyes. Mm -hmm. I love your lips. Mm -hmm. I love your smile. Aww. And hey, hey, I love this one too. Stop me! I'm not flattering you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, maybe we should jump on the side. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, it's okay, I love you. Hello? What? Hey, it can't be. My daughter, what happened to her? Please. Which hospital? Ah, God. Okay, okay. I'm on my way. Please. Oh. He's calling me again. Hello, hello. Finn, Finn, hello. It's me. Have you heard? Oh, Finn, please, let me there. Please. I'm on my way. Let's see there. So, well, how is the situation with her now? See, for my only daughter is dying. My only daughter is dying. And I can't stand to lose her life. Why waste time? Let's get this kidney. And I will bear the cost. Senator, in this case, money is not the problem. We tried all we could. We searched everywhere to get a kidney but we couldn't get her much then what did the doctor say is the only solution right now senator the doctor said that the person closer to her can really run a test and if his kidney matches he will definitely donate to save my daughter's life hmm. Only person closer to her. Yes, Dr. Senator. If I may ask, who is that closer person? Senator, your son, of course. My son? Please. My son? Oh. Margaret. You want my son to donate his own kidney to save your own daughter's life? Your daughter that preferred that low-life rascal to my son. I see, Margaret. I suggest you go fetch that boy, that rascal, to donate his kidney. After all, of what use is his life? Rubbish. We are talking of the life of my only daughter. Please. Margaret, shut up, I said. If he dies in the process, my son will have her for the rest of his life. Senator. Rubbish! You say your son lost my daughter! Please, doctor, tell me. You, you've tested me. What, what is the result? I can donate to her, right? Young man, your kidney matches with ours. But there are a lot of complications. Com complications? Tell me. Complications. You might die if you decide to give her your kidney.
Hey, Finn. Finn, please. Save my only child. Save my only child. Do something, please. I'm sorry, ma. But my hands are tight. My kidney can never match with us. That is impossible. Totally impossible. Please. But you can't be so sure. Will you keep quiet. Look, 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 look. Why are we even discussing this? I know I want to get married to Tonya. I want to make her my wife. But I can't do that at the expense of my own life. Please, I can't risk it. Finn! Please. Finn, remember you said you love her. Please. Finn! And she's not coming back till evening. So it's just both of us in this house. Okay. Um, um you said you wanted to ask me something. You don't look happy. Um Tonya, I, I wanted to ask you. This guy coming for your hand in marriage, is it true that he's the senator's son? Oh. Finn is the ex senator's son. His father is very influential and he controls worlds. Uh, what? So th that means you're leaving me for him, isn't what? it? No! How could you say that? Listen, I am I am no match with the senator's son. Okay, I'm no match with him. He, he, he has money and I have nothing. The father has so many cars as... Look, you need to shut up right now. What do you take me for? And what is my business with your many cars and money? Do I look like I'm lacking? No. Look, Dennis. It's you I love. It's you I'm in love with. My heart is with you. And over my dead body will I leave you for another. I would rather die unless you choose to leave. Hey, may death be my portion the day I would even think of leaving you. I love you so much. And I'm just scared that I might lose you. I love you too. And I'm here for you, okay? I'm not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> so, are you okay now? Yes, I'm yeah, okay. You need to share. I'm perfect now, so. Okay. Uh, I guess I should uh, keep going before your mom comes back. And so comes soon? Back. No, my mom is not coming back. Listen, you already told me how much you should, should get disgusted whenever you mention my name. Yeah, she just, I don't want the information. I am happy to have school for you. It's okay, then let me walk to the kids. Hello, Tonya. You should have called me to come and help you with that. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> baby. Yes, baby. There is this thing I would really like to ask you. Okay. Ask me. Hmm. Okay. If I was at the point of that and you happen to be the only one to save me, would you let me die? Wait, uh, what kind of what kind of question is that? I mean, how could you even come up with such a thing? Come on, answer me. Hmm? We don't own our lives. Neither do we have idea of what will happen to us the moment we step out of here right now. True. So please, answer my question. Listen, baby. First, nobody is dying. Okay? Amen. There won't be any such case. But okay. nevertheless, you know I love you. Okay? That will do anything. Okay. Even if it means me putting my life in the line to ensure your safety, I'll do it. Mm. Satisfied now? Okay. So do you mind telling me why you have to ask me such a... I have no reason. Now you don't have any, any reason, you just... I come don't! Up... <laughs> come on! I'm good to go, right? I'm not walking you. Like seriously. You're joking. I am not. You are! Okay. No reason. No, no, you you're, you're joking. No, I'm not. <laughs> Come on, stand up, let's I'm not go. Going Come on, let's go, stand up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good 
Brother, it is too risky. Don't even try it. Listen. I will never forgive myself if I allow anything to happen to Tony. When I know I can actually save her. But she won't forgive you if you act stupidly. You know hey. that. Hey. Find your words. I'm sorry. Good. If you love her, please stay alive for her. Let me ask you a question. If you were to be in the position where Tony is right, Tony is right now, and the man you care so much about, the man you've made so much sacrifice for, turns his back on you, how would you feel? Well, if it is on the condition that he can save me and stay alive, and yet he refuses to do so, then it is totally unfair. Good. But if saving my life will mean losing your own life, I will never forgive you for making such sacrifice. Because I can't live alone in this world without you. Please be reasonable, please. <laughs> Are you sure this young man is still coming? I, I'm confused. I, I, I don't even understand. Oh, yeah, yeah, come uh, um, sorry. Sorry, I was late. I, uh, I went to the hospital. I was told you here. Can we, can we please go to the hospital? I'm ready to, to donate whatever I need to do to save the Tony. Please, let's go. Young man, do you hear that you may die trying to do this? Can we, can we not? Can we not go back to this again? Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do this. Please. Dennis, you mean you want to donate your kidney to save my only daughter's life, no, no matter the consequences? <laughs> Please, I, I, let's not make this more difficult than it is already, okay? I made a promise to Tonya. I will do anything. Even if it means giving her my two kidneys, I, I will do it, okay? She'll be fine. Let, let's go, let's go. Okay. Stop asking questions, let's go, let's go. Let's go. This. Let's go. You are willing to die for me? You mean you are actually willing to save my daughter's life? I, I, I don't know what is happening here. What is, what is, what is going on? You, you, you look fine. You, you look okay. Yes, I know you don't understand. You're actually okay. You, you're fine. fine. You're fine. What's going on? What? Oh God. What is going on? Tell me, my daughter. Yes, ma I want a man that will love and cherish you for the rest of his life. A man that will make sacrifice for you. Hmm? You know, I love you. And you are my only child. I want your happiness always. Mom, I understand. Honestly, I do, but Dennis loves me that much, and I know he is the right man for me. You think so? I know so, Mom. Then allow me to put them on test. Mom, test? And anyone that passes, we have my blessing. Definitely, I know Dennis will beat Finn to it. Trust me. Now listen, Tonya. If Finn beats your Dennis. Definitely, you are going to marry Finn. <laughs> Mom, it's not possible. Dennis loves me. He can't sacrifice anything for me. Okay, let's play the game. And that was it. <laughs> wait, wait, no. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I, I'm okay. I'm not. I'm not angry. But come on, did you have to go through all that? Mom, I love her. Genuinely, I, I can die for you. I Come on. When I said you were the second breath I take, <laughs> I wasn't bluffing. Without you, I have no life. You know that. Yeah, of course I know that. Listen, you made a lot of sacrifices for me already. Not an ingrate. Come on, I, 
<laughs> come, come here. <laughs> I can see you really prove your love to my darling daughter. Yeah, mom, I told you that he loves me so much. I can see my daughter. Yeah, we love each other. My son, you are welcome to marry my daughter anytime you are ready. Thank you, mom. Mom, yes, thank mom. you very much. And you, you. <laughs> Thank you. Mom. What is the good about the evening? And who are you, if I may ask? Mom, it's me, Finn. And who, who are you, if I may ask? The senator's son. Meaning what? Your son-in-law. And then? Wow. Now listen. What have you come to do in my compound? I had Tony as a recovery, so I came to pay her. Oh, I see. You hate Tony have recovered from abandoning her, right? Now get out of my compound. What's the problem? I said get out of my compound. Mom. It's me. Do you want me to call somebody on you before you get out from here? Oh, wow, it's all right. Better. Out. It's all right. I say out. It's all right. It's all right. It's, all right. it's, all right. Oh, it's me. Move. Wow. Out. Move. Out. Move. Out. Move. Out. Move. Out. Move. Out. 